Welcome back everyone to the second episode of Mana Lords. If you have missed out on yesterday's first episode, this in front of us is what we have done in the first episode and it was a blast. And today we are going to focus on reaching the currently highest level. We are going to go to reach the third level of our plots. You can see some of the second level plots are still being developed and we are developing a lot of other things. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little outline of today's episode before we will start with a kind of tiny, tiny, tiny little time lapse. But uh, first of all, I'm explaining what we are doing. So let's bring up the UI. For those of you uh, curious, there are some very cool camera controls. With control C, you can disable the uh, HUD over here and bring it back on and you can also also go through some uh, prefixed camera locations as you can see over here I have certain camera locations saved and then you can just fly through them and also from there just easily go so for example if I go shift 2 you have a very big overview of how our city develops over time so you can have some really really cool um, comparison shots and if you go for example to like, disable the hut you can see how this looks and also if we are zoomed out that far look at the graphics of this game and how actually how huge the map is I, I also didn't really talk about this in the first episode but I mean look at how little space we've actually taken from our first beginning and if we are zooming out look what else we still have to claim like this is insane and it, it it'll definitely drive you to do different things and I do love how the map is just kind of automatically created because certainly this is exactly what we build like with our little outposts here with the stones and stuff it feels so organic almost like in a in a card game or board game i should say that is so good i mean at the moment we can't claim this with influence because we don't have it but uh, as soon as we have it we will most likely do it therefore i'm going to build a manor as well which is under construction over here as you can see but what i also want to do is i want to upgrade the church oh, wait is this oh no it's not automatically done i thought so let's put it on highest priority so people have the church and we need to give uh, alcohol to the people which is going to be done by the tavern and I want to keep this to this location, uh, mainly because this is our Traceable center core, you know, um, of the city. However, I need to get rid of certain things first. I still don't get how I get rid of pathing, so this is something I really, I really don't get. So roads, can I delete a road? Is there like, oh wait, old remove, ah, old remove, this is remove ah there you go i could have had that a while ago i should have just read it um it's, it's literally written down here and i'm just blind i guess okay never mind can we squeeze the tavern in here somehow is it is it doable ah dang it so we need to relocate these things i mean we can not relocate those that's a pity. That's a pity. Bread. How about Freshly this one? Baked. Livestock. We can't do this. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a bit of an odd one. Mm. We got the church over here. We got a logging camp. We can relocate the logging camp. It's no one is working in here anyway. So I'm gonna relocate this one to another space. Let's have a look. Um, there is some forest being done. You know what? I'm just gonna put this one all the way up here. This is fine, and then we've got it done there. And I want to put the tavern right across the other side of our manor, which is being built. So I feel like can I can I get can can you guys get rid of it, and then so I can put my construction of the tavern here. I need I need to put it there. Also, can I let's demolish this? We haven't we haven't done anything with this one for now, so we can basically put down uh, our tavern. So I, I definitely want to put down the tavern here. I mean, we can have some space in between. That is fine. And I'm going to put it right over there. And it's going to be, oops, uh, also very high priority. There you go. Nice. Let's go and quickly put down the manor so you guys also see it. So administration, manor. And I, I decided to go for this location, even though, wait, let's have a look of... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to put it here. I already took away too much of the fertile, fertile land here. So the manor has to go somewhere else. How about here, though? The whole city will be developed around. So actually, you know what? It's actually kind of good that we put it there. I'm going to put the manor here. And then you're basically in this build mode of a castle planner, as it said. My god, this is where I'm going to get in. Look, we have add point, remove point for planning, placing roads and walls. And this is actually all within 
the build. So that is pretty dang cool. So wall editing, drag wall point, insert wall point, remove wall point. Then we have building placement, rotate. So basically all the same controls as we know. But then you can also just go in here and for example, just plop a wall in and you can also go over and then it creates like a little gate, which I do think is kind of cute. So I'm gonna, I wanna bring this over to this side and click. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, create this one. I can't really go out here too much. I can just, I can just do it that way. Let's build this, I like it. Because as soon as you put down like an outside tower, um, you are basically increasing the radius of your manor. So I'm gonna put this one here, bang, there you go. Um, and we're gonna put another one, obviously in the fence here to increase the size there which makes a whole bunch of sense, um, but it's super expensive. So you gotta be very careful with this. Um, you also have the garrison tower, increase the maximum retinue size by 12 limited per one per region. So this is a huge one. Uh, what is the construction cost of that one? It's not really that much. So uh, basically I'm gonna put this one down right on the edge and it should face this direction. And it's creating like a bit of a more huge area to it. So this is pretty dang good. And then you can also place roads. Like, is that a road within now? Okay. Wait, wait, that's not a road. <laughs> place roads and we build a fence. This is not what I meant. Uh, how do I undo this? Is that also again with alt? Nope, let's just wall and get, there you go. Remove that one, yes. Um, that was That was easy. How about road is done with R? Yeah, there you go. This is, look, we can even build that through the building, which I do think is quite neat. Um, okay, but anyways, let's uh, build a little bit more of, oops, the wall. Just go all the way here. Bring it all the way over to this side. Also, the, it says control, and this is how I can get rid of the curvature. Look, this is good. So just make like a sharp edge here. It's super expensive. I should definitely not do this. It's super expensive, um, but it's okay. For the moment, it's okay. I'm gonna say, um, okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this one over here. And uh, let's say, there you go. Still too much, still too much. Is that like still the fence that is so expensive? Yeah, okay, let's commit to this first. And then we can build after that, that's fine. All right, um, almost time for our first time lapse because we have fletched out what we wanna do. We are in June this year. Um, our farms do look pretty dang good this time around. We are already in the crop growth. Uh, this one looks fantastic too. That looks good too, that looks good too. Dang, we have a good, we have a good way of doing this. Now we can employ more people right away because we will. they will be needed down here too. There's a weaver guy. Um, is the for yeah, there you go. The forester hut is done. So we're gonna put one down. Can I, in advance, unlimited work area, limit work area. I wanna make sure that this is only set work area, cancel, adjust size. So what I want to do is I want to make them make a little forest right over here. This is where you put the forest, okay? Because I wanna make sure that the logging camp over here has something to do always in this space. It's kind of cute how all these little trees are in here. They will eventually grow bigger, but um, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, let's go into the first time lapse. All right, here we go, guys. Um, I thought to stop the time lapse over here, even though there are still some buildings being worked on. There's the little save, but you can see a couple of things have changed in the meantime because uh, we've reached some milestones again. Oh, not, not milestones in that sense. We don't have more uh, points, but we have some policies now um, because we have our manor built over here. You can see this is our manor. We could put some uh, fuel reserves in and so on. Uh, we can now go into taxes. We can say land tax or this one I can't really pronounce um, <clears throat> but this is a percentage of surplus of food that is given to the church in return for influence and that's gonna be something we are going to do uh, because I want to have influence um, to claim a new area rather soon and you can see over here the land tax is obviously collected from well, you know money but we are not going to change this as of now because we have a very good um, overall 
um, situation right now. As you can see, we have uh, quite a lot of um, population growth because we are also building a lot of houses. But uh, to not go into an issue here, which may actually happen, because as you can see, um, we are running a little bit short on fuel still, even though we have this wonderful saw pit uh, building its stuff down there. But I feel like we have to really go down, and as you can tell, we are also, um, well, we have a lot of timber. That's not the biggest issue we have. And we can also just go slower on this one down here. But what we got to do is we got to make sure that we have a bit more of control over where our logs and stuff come from. Now, as trees and stuff will grow over here in the future, I will most certainly get some stuff down here. So what we got to do now is we're going to, first of all, put a storehouse right over here. This is a definitely a good position to have it. And then we do need to go oops, uh, to this area and we're gonna say a woodcutter's lodge goes all the way down here too. And I'm gonna put another saw pit also right over down here. But I'm just gonna, just gonna bring this down to the back here. There you go. Leave a bit of space for these. And now let's put this on highest priority, all of those, so that people are going to build this uh, rather quickly. I'm just gonna connect the road here real quick. There you go. So that's built because we're gonna set this up to have some fire. Um, and what we also need to do is we need to focus on making sure that we have enough food. Now, as you can tell, um, our fields are working rather neat and you can see uh, oops, uh, they will hopefully go in and get us a lot of stuff. I'm not sure what's going on in the pantry if and how much we have large uh, in the granary. We've got some bread, we've got some berries, we've got some flour, so it's okay, you know. Um, storage is still more than enough. Um, I'm still wondering if... Look, this one is also not really that much filled. But it's okay, I don't want to make them walk always so far. This is why I need to do this. Um, but what we could do right now is we could just, uh, check if we find a hunting ground. <coughs> so that's something we are going to look for. And the hunting ground is all the way down here, as you can tell. It's quite far away. There's also like an iron deposit. Um, yeah, and to turn around, our, this, our connection is... See, I think the point is we need to do this somehow in a, in a clever way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this all the way down here. And I'm going to check this one. Let's see, where can I connect this? This is where the fields go. This is where the new forest is going to sit. Let's have a little look where our forester hut goes to work. Uh, limited work area. Well, I think I gave it to them by just making sure that this is the work area over here, right? So that's that. Um, and I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to bring this road all the way through here, connecting it down to this area. So that's going to be where the road sits. And... Um, what I do assume is, can we also have, I, you know, it's, it's quite a terrible far um, to go for them. So this is where the closest water can go. There's also an iron deposit. I want to make sure that people don't need to walk that crazy far. So I'm going to put a well over there. And I still do put the residential lots in here. Let's see if we can give them quite something to work with this is nice so a bit of a bit of an area for them I'm not sure if they need a market space over here like the closest market would be over there they could literally just go across the road it's fine i think it's it's actually doable um and what we're going to do then obviously we're going to go to gathering and going to put a hunter camp uh right over there I think this is exactly where we need this. And I'm not sure, like, we, you know, we could, we have all the resources, we have people, we are doing good. I think it's good to now set up all this stuff and then do another little um, time lapse over here. So, this over there is the industry. And I feel like we. <sighs> First of all, we're going to go to mining, and then we have the mining pit, which I believe should actually go. Look, this is uh, iron ore from iron deposit. So, we should actually be able to. Ah, okay. Can we put? Can we squeeze two on it? I'm just wondering if, like, if I go all the way close to here. Let's see. Or maybe even four. I'm not sure if we can squeeze four on it. So that and, ooh, look, nice. Gonna squeeze two out of them. Ha! That's good. That's good. That's good. 
So that is very, very good indeed. Um, and then we should basically set up all the stuff over here. I want to make this a bit more organic. Where's the, the other hut is somewhere there. So I'm just going to squeeze this pathway a little bit through the forest. Just make this a little bit more organic looking, you know. I think uh, yeah, it does more beautiful. Okay, now as we've set this up, uh, we also obviously need some other stuff. Now they will uh, get ourselves some iron ore out of it. Fine, so far so good. Um, and we should most likely also give them a, a storehouse. Um, not like a... like. Yeah, I think it's it's not like a full... Is it a full-fledged store? Um, I'm, yeah, I, th I think we're going to put this in, in here anyways. I think it's a good idea to have it. Um, just connect that to this area and then just get the path all the way squeezed through here. Uh, just making this like a full work area. And then we should also go into the industry tab. And then Bloomery is doing the iron slabs out of this. Needs to be refueled once per month. Okay, fine. They need to walk quite a bit. Um, and then, for example, the smithy, the smithy, uh, it's gonna do some tools out of it. And I'm wondering. I feel like I don't want to put this one on over here. I think they are delivering our iron slabs fully done. And we're going to build the smithy somewhere in our town. Um, realistically close to a storehouse, which is again over here. So I think the smithy... Um, why not squeeze? Yeah, why not put it over here? Let's turn it around. Uh, and so that we can still connect the path through there. So squeeze the road. Look, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is done too. Um, we gotta cut a, a lot of things to build in winter. I'm still also pretty much adoring how this market space looks at this point. Looks, I, I hope it's gonna look even better once everything is filled. I kinda like this. I really also I wish to be able to put some more trees in here. I wonder what happens if I put a forester randomly in the city, uh, if they're just going to reforest everything. Um, talking about this, how is everything going? Oh, they're starting to collect the weed. Are they? So, can I also edit this building? How do I do this? Open in Castle Planner. Ah, okay, I can. I can still go on now building modules. Um, so, I can basically put this thing down too. It's not really that much of, a, of an issue. So, I'm just going to drag it all the way out. I just want to make sure that this is going to be a lot bigger. Because I want to plot out some buildings in here soon. But this should all become part of the manor. So... Really? Yeah, that should that, that should be fine. Look, that is fine. And boom, there you go. They can build this eventually. Okay. Oh my god, we've done quite a lot. We've got September, so it's going to be a heavy winter building. Uh, I, I'm really thinking about making sure that this is looking good for you guys as a time. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking which is the best camera position we can switch to. This one is just a solid... This one is too close. I mean, two is. I mean, two has two has some potential because we haven't seen that one in a while. Uh, but this could become a little bit complicated with the weather, um, and this might actually look a little bit too crazy. Let's see if we can find a better spot over here. Um, I really think, look, with all the buildings in the, in the foreground being built. Policies available. Wait, let's check this out first of all. Which policies do we have? Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast. At the okay, this is good. Um, citizens skip every fifth meal. No, we don't need this. Okay, well, I'm I'm not going to give them any of those because we're doing good. So why would I, why would I take them anything? You know, that makes no sense. Um, I'm just wondering as as food is going down, we have so many families working. I'm wondering if they already have built this thing they haven't. Because hunting will work in winter too. So let's put this on a bit of a higher priority. And I'm going to check in in midwinter. You shouldn't be able to see that because I can I can do this in the meantime. Like you don't really notice. But let's have a look. It's all starting to look so good down here. I wish that the market is starting to form. Because that will, will bring the whole thing so better. Freestyle location 19. Clothing is not available, food I, I really do need to see if they eventually bring a market space in here or if they always have the central market space like here or if it's too close or however it's gonna work. I'm also wondering like how big this game will become because looking at the map, oh my god, look at this. I want to claim this eventually, but we don't have the 1,000 influence right now with 505, which is not really that much. Um, so we need to keep on building our manor. We keep on upgrading all the stuff like churches and stuff. Um, 
But it's all good. It's all good. Is there... what, what do they need? Oh, clothing stall. I'm also not sure how the range of these stalls work exactly, but I mean, the planning of this town is is mediocre, I would say. It's still okay. We maintained a certain eye on, on where fertility is and stuff like that. We should also go next time we go into development. We should definitely take some archery over here for some apple trees. I guess that's a, that's a nice idea. But uh, first of all, it's time to let the let the town grow, I guess. And I feel like I feel like this is a good view. If it stops to rain, things will look even better eventually. But let's put this to key number eight, and that should be it for us. Let's have a look if we can skip back there. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, guys, enjoy the time lapse. So we survived the winter in quite a good manner. I have to say we are a little bit short on food, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because we have changed a couple of things now for the coming season. And so hopefully this time around uh, things should work. I'm not really sure what exactly was going on over here and I'm not even going, uh, I'm, you know, not going to be too sure what's going on here with the fields, but I'm going to change a couple of things. So hopefully it's going to work. I also think we should have some sheep by now. Let me see. Nope, uh, trade. Which ones did we get though? Um, so we got some mules, which is good. But how about how about getting sheep? Um, so I found out that you know we have got the pack station where we can do some things. Not sure if I can finally do a trade route. I still can't do this. Okay, um, not entirely sure what we need to do. I think it's putting down regions uh, on our own, which I want to do relatively soon, and this is why. You can see that. Um, our influence is only gaining very slowly. So that means we have to basically uh, go in here and increase the taxes a little bit more um, just to ensure that we get a bit more uh, influence relatively quickly. And we will also do more things like building for that. I'm also not sure if I can build another manor. Um, so I, I think I can, right? Limit reach, okay, I can't. Uh, I thought that was a thing, you know? Um, um, I think I could, I you know, normally I could go over here, but um, I, I can't go there as of now. Um, however, we are doing good and we need to focus on food first of all, and then we go on. You can see our um, approval goes down a little now as uh, I have put the taxes higher and, and stuff like this, but uh, we need to focus on that relatively soon. I really do hope that we get some more sheep soon because we actually need them. And I'm also not sure how we get the sheep out of out of this thing. So really no idea. Honestly, I've no idea how we get them out there, but there should be a way. Now, um, let's focus on really getting, like we've got so many families, I want to employ more people on the fields, just to ensure that we get stuff, because we need to get this to work. Otherwise, I see a little issue coming with the next season. I also upgraded this one so that we have a herb garden now, um, as you can tell. They are growing herbs now around, which uh, I think is beautiful because that helps uh, also with the food. And we should go over here and see what our hunting camp does. Can we upgrade the hunting camp too? Not really. Can we do anything advanced? Okay, no, that's really not that much. But then you can see our iron area is also working. Obviously, there's no one working in here because I wait for having a bit more of uh, families to do so. Um, if we look at the families, we've got so many level one families we need to keep upgrading i guess uh, in order to gain more influence and stuff like that is really the key um and also you know i i left this open here because this is fertile land we should use that and basically go on to farming and i'm gonna put another farmhouse down which i believe where's the most clever way to put it this is also fertile over here can i squeeze this on the other side somehow it's all fertile land. I don't want to claim the fertile land from them. Um, if I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this here because I want to have houses on this side anyway. So this is going to be nice, I guess. So uh, I, I quite like this. Now, um, we can put fields down and I will put like quite, quite a huge field down 
on this side. Oh, oh wait, why did I not? This is so stupid. Okay, I should, I should have just put it here and here. Whoops, click. What the heck is going on? Smell, work in progress. I, I don't want to go Emmer. This is, uh, or do I go Rye? Whatever. This is the fertile land anyway, so I'm just going to plot it out like so. Why can I not do this? Plot points. What the heck is... Where is your issue? Like, why can I not build this? Uh, is that too big or what what's what's the deal? What a, what about a smaller one? Okay, I can definitely build this um, How about now if I do this? Okay, well you don't want to have that big of a field. Okay, then I'm just gonna squeeze another one Around here. I mean this will make the whole thing look more organic anyways, which I think is fine um, Just going to bring Another field in look that is exactly how it should be awesome and I'm gonna put this one on wheat this one goes on wheat too they've all got a like a nice probability of that so this is fine and this is the farmhouse so hopefully this is gonna bring us some more grain in and as of now they are doing their job and what are they doing crop growth are they harvesting sowing oh they are sowing at the moment in March which I believe is good so that should be a good thing to do now we still have six families to build houses, which they should definitely do. This is like an awkward open space, which I will fill now in with the residential buildings because there's a lot going on in this space over here. So let's see that we can utilize the entire space. Bam, there you go. And I want to go and try to get a little bit of buildings in here too. We just need... Enough supply of any of the following materials. Shoes, cloth, and cloaks. And a tavern supply. So, um, steady supply of ale. As I don't know how we will get ale to them, we, <laughs> we will have to focus on that. I'm really not sure how to get ale to them if that's made out of malt. Did I miss anything down here? Weavers use that to make... Yeah, that we do have that one. The tannery hides to leather. Mold. What is the professions we can give the people we upgraded over here? Can I... What's your profession, for example? Oh, brewery extension. There you go. It produces ale from mold. Aha. I'm going to give you this extension right away. Because we will need this. And... what is? It's still March. So we are still up to the chances of doing another mold field. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. Oh, actually, well, we need an, uh, another malt field, but we need a... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. We need a barley field. Okay, let's see if we can do this by plopping down. And let's say barley fertility. Where, we, where do we have... Oh, it's more like up here, but we can't get there. So, the only little space we have is somewhere over here. Yeah, that's not too nice. I'm still trying to make it, even though it's not like super fertile land, but at least something. Um, so I'm gonna go with bar 27%. It's okay, you know, it's it's not too shabby, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, we're gonna gonna do it this way. Hopefully, that still works. Hopefully that still works. Let's see if we can get it done because this is this is really important for the next level uh, in order to to re Did the people just spawn on the field? Oh no, there's just one person. That that uh, these are little trees. Interesting. Um, good. Okay, we've got so many things running, which I feel like is pretty damn good. Uh, food is still really not good. Fuel neither, which uh, confuses me a little because we should be a lot better on fuel now because we have so many people working on it. Saw pits. This one is also doing its thing. Hmm. I can upgrade them. What about you guys? Can I upgrade you guys? I can. Look. Oh my god. Expand living space and upgrade to level 2. And give them also access to other things. Um. Well, actually, I'm going to explore you guys into level 2. Level 2. Level 2. You go level 2 too. Level 2 too. Uh, you definitely go level 2. 
want to see a big house like that level two just getting them all to level two should be fine what's that like a woodcutter's lodge oh i have yet another one uh which is good okay let's employ someone mm, do we have some empty buildings left because i mean i built some more buildings we upgrade some buildings let's have a look if we've got some more empty uh people they're all living in here is there someone living in here i wonder who's floating away today dang it hasn't stopped since the morn no empty ones left open 57 houses how's our no population goal? oh oh look at that this is why so we may have to build more residential sooner than i thought okay well that that is fine i i wanted to start anyway so let's do that oh can i not go into the manor oh i can't go into the manor area all oh, right then i have to put them right behind it, it, this is fine this is fine we can we can we can keep them behind it's fine for me and right across the other side build that and we're gonna do the same over here there you go that's gonna be lovely that's gonna be very lovely maybe this is becoming like a market space over here in the center i don't know if again i'm not sure if they all walk over there i'm just a fan of having more market stalls in general like i think they look good and honestly i'm gonna give them a mark what does this say provide space for sign a healthy supply demand uh, ratio of goods needed for okay but that, i mean i have this but i still feel like i'm just going to give them all the market stalls they need over here this is gonna be like a huge development area on, and i wonder if i go into the castle planner like as this is being developed right now um i can't okay well it does tell me what whoop, whoop, close okay um because we don't have that many timber look at that okay food is uh why do we have minus three meat how is that even possible that is interesting um firewood there's nothing going on on here minus one yarn okay is that like um, could be like reserved or something but i feel like it's time to um do a little time lapse laps again um while i feel like i have to override another one let's see where what we've got one one is actually useless by now what about two well two will become more useful as soon as we grow i, li I still like this area just to just to see what we did so far Three is becoming more useless. Uh, oh, we don't have anything on four. Okay, well then I'm gonna put a no new four in. And this is going to be the number four. Is there anything else we need to see? Construction, I think this is this is rather how I like this. Awesome, okay, let's have a look. The next time-lapse awaits us and uh, I'm shutting up now and let's have a look. All right, we are back and we are now in June and a lot, a lot, a lot has happened. As you can see, we are now have now new families and if we go over here, we have a high population growth because we have a lot of Burgage uh, plots now um, and hopefully a lot of families joining in. As you can see, there are no families in here, so we do have a bit of stuff over here. They are... Um, they will be coming in rather soon. There's already a family in here. Not sure if everyone is... Yeah, there are a couple of uh, areas free. And we have upgraded most of the houses down here too. This big one over here looked pretty awesome. And now we can also expand the living space, which should make the whole thing even bigger and give it an uh, additional house. We still don't see any new market spaces down here, which... Um, kind of tells me that this seems not to be the way it works um same goes for this marketplace it's it's kind of odd maybe it's a bug maybe they are in here because <coughs> excuse me um you can really see there is a demand and supply and it's it's a bit weird why it doesn't work um but you can tell that slowly but steadily our fuel goes up our food doesn't but i do hope that with um all the fields and stuff it's gonna be better 
Alright, there we go. Um, we have actually quite a bit of a good, uh, or, well, it's a good situation going on right now because as you can see, finally our um, wonderful sheep are in here. So we can now go back to the livestock market and get ourselves some more, finally, as it works. And I'm gonna go all the way to, wait, how many do fit in there? Was it like 17? No, 21 even. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way for it. Uh, because, well, we have the wealth and we do need this, so let's get them 21. Um, we've got quite some oxen and I'm gonna go all the way up to 20. It doesn't even matter. They're not expensive and uh, we do need them because as we can uh, definitely tell, uh, you've seen this in the time lapse, things went a lot quicker with all the oxen available. And as I want to upgrade at some point to the um, heavy plop, I do need this at some point. So that's why. I'm also wondering if that makes sense to employ even more people here. We need to focus on food. This is really something that I need to ensure. Uh, the berry stuff over here, pantry is doing well. I'm also a bit confused to why, like where are all the herbs gone? Because they have planted some herbs. I have upgraded this to herbs, but it seems not to really pay off at this point. Um, oh, look at that. We have some game, game how's that pronounced? Gambasins? 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 I don't know, but it uh, seems like to work. And we've got wool and yarn. Hides coming in. Um, I'm also unsure. I think we built... Yeah, we did build this. The tannery over here. So people can finally work in the tannery. There you go. Uh, two families left for building. We don't really have that much building going on at this time. We have autosave going on. Um, but building is not a thing. I'm also wondering if it makes sense to have more people living down here. We could try to focus on bringing this together. Simply because, also that is a good idea, you know why? There is the water stream running right through here. So we could provide them with a nice connection right between here, following the water. Water. Following the water. I think that's a good way to do that. Yeah, following water. <laughs> Sorry. It, I got car carried away, okay? Um, and while we are doing so... Let's just let's just do a lovely little double double path. I don't know, just to kind of make that look nicer. I don't know, just like this. I don't know. I'm just I'm just here to build a little bit more nice now, and just bring this all away. So we have the logging camp over here. I'm wondering if I want to keep this here. This the city has to grow. We have some more trees here. We have an an, an insane amount of trees over here. Uh, it's kind of funny that we have these two houses just over there, but they slowly would be connected to our area anyways. As much as the city grows, all of a sudden this is connected, which uh, I believe is good. Um, I won't expand too much the upper hand as of now. We have like this insanely huge forest, and I'm still wondering if it wouldn't make any sense. We have a logging camp over here, and it has a like a big log storage. No one is here. I think I'm gonna take those out of this one for the moment being and guide them to work over here because that makes sense and I'm also giving them a uh, limited work area now because I mean there is so much space available let's not take the berries let's take that side awesome so they can actually chop that all away because then we can put some more fields down and it's kind of insane how much our area has changed since the very beginning. I I really do like this. Like if we go to our second camera position, that is that that is quite insane to be honest. Uh, what what we are looking at right now, looking very very fantastic. Um, how big that all got. Barley field looks super good. Okay, I really do hope that this all works out. And this is why I'm also going to put down a malt house. Which should be put down right away next to this one. I think that makes the biggest sense. Um, and as we're with it, you can see we have so much timber. Um, it's actually not that much timber, is it? But I think for the construction of more houses, we should definitely use that. I wonder, can I... Ooh, look, at, oh my god, I have never, okay, we need this, look, we make this a, the lot is too small, okay, wait a sec, I want to, I want to break free, no, I want to build something around the corner, so it's, fa yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about, and then, like so, 
to small. Are you kidding me? Look, how about now? Yeah. This is where the house goes, though. Mm, but I want the house to be to the front. Mm -hmm. See, I want to have this face diagonally. Di di diagonally? Is that is that a word even? So how about now, if I put it here and here? Okay. Bigger. No. Bigger. Oh my god. Where, <laughs> where did I go? Uh, I want to I wanna get this... I mean, wait, sure, there is a there is an easier way of doing this, right? Like this, and then we build a house. Like this. Let me just build that again. Not a farmhouse, a normal house. Like so. And I should then put that, yeah, there you go. And like, let's, let's do it this way. Mm, and then we should be able to hopefully provide... Yeah, there you go. Like a house connecting next to that one. Ah, that's too small. That works. Can give them like a huge garden to the back. Is that working actually? I love that. So it's like, like a backstage, gar backdoor garden, whatever. Ah, okay, now, now I'm talking... Okay, wait. If that is the thing, how about this and... We can adjust the curvature by ha having control. Okay, wait. Road curvature. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Look, we can make this even more curved. I'm I'm going to test now the limits of the building system, guys. This is this is getting we are getting somewhere here. So I'm gonna rotate this around, and then. I like what I'm seeing, guys. I really like what I'm seeing. So this is becoming so much more organic than I ever thought it was. And I really think this could change how the entire face of the city is looking later on. So I'm going to I'm gonna do the same, like a little bit rotated over here. And I'm going to hold down Alt Remove because that's the one in the center. We don't need this anymore um, because people will walk here eventually. So that is... That is totally fine. Um, I mean, this road is now gone too, but it's uh, whatever. Let's do it again. There you go. And we can now put even more houses on this side. Let's try to do this a bit more normally. Get some houses like this. And then let's make them face exactly the other direction. Uh, do I either want the extension there or do I want a workspace here? A workspace here is potentially better, so that's that. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. So the storehouse over here is a good spot. I mean, this logging camp is gonna go away anyways. Let's relocate this logging camp. I, I can't. It has to go. It goes over here now. Dang it. See you later, alligator. Uh, you, we don't really need that. Um, I can put these literally right over here next to you in this spot. Because this is legit the exact perfect spot to have it. Um, do we increase the storehouse over here? I believe we do because that's going to be a big one that needs to be increased. We've got smithy over here. We don't need that one. Okay. So let's have a look. Livestock is doing good. We've got quite a, quite a decent livestock. Um, we are doing really, really nice on this. The only thing we're not doing nice on is uh, definitely food. Food is, food is absolutely not good. Inference is just ridiculous. Why does it not go quicker? Taxes. Um, let's, let's go all the way to 50%. As soon as you don't go and predict it. Land tax collected from I don't I don't like I don't need that I guess but this is uh, you know maybe I'm wrong but I think I don't need that. It's becoming so beautiful, guys. This uh, it looks absolutely insane. Just it's so beautiful to look at. We've got July. How about that? It's almost grown. August is approaching. We've got a couple of families. Uh, we build a lot of lots like they are under construction over here so beautiful i could watch it the whole day honestly and we should still have a good growth right high population growth um <coughs> i'm wondering if excuse me i'm wondering if we need to upgrade come more houses on, as we speak 
just to ensure that everything is a bit nicer. So they all should be... We can't really... Hmm. Weird. But there's really not that much on uh, on our side of the map that we are missing out on, right? Everything in here is pretty nicely done. I still can't... I, I think maybe that's a bug or I'm really too stupid to set up a trade route. I'm so confused because honestly, it would be so good to finally trade. I mean, look, we have um, built all the roof tiles over here and I would just love to sell them. We can establish a... Honestly. Wow. I feel so stupid. I feel so insanely stupid at this point. Why well, I'm not clicking shift. Let's go to, yeah, 20, whatever. It doesn't matter. Ah, I should have just clicked here. Really? Really? Wow. That is insane. Um... Also, how do I get the treasury done? Because we should, like, like regional wealth is good, but how do we uh, convert? Ah, import. Uh, oh, that, that means I need to raise taxes to get treasury ready. Oh, this is interesting. Minus eight. Okay, well, minus eight is okay. It's okay. I can't do trade tax. Wait. Collected from regional wealth for every transaction with a visiting merchant. Um, because I can't put these in, right? Okay, let's let's see if that works. And minus eight is okay. We can we can work with that because our firewood, firewood. stuff is really good. Now, wondering if we need a new church at some point. But I feel like this is a good setup now, as I finally understood how to set up a trade. I'm so freaking stupid when it comes to this. Okay, well, this is my learning session. Okay, we should call it that way. It is my learning session, and I learned it. Hopefully, finally not learned it. Um, okay, now trade is established. We should definitely get a couple of new things. We can also, however, um, go to food and import food, obviously. As we are doing good now on this, uh, we could f import food just to be secure. Um, let's say import. And I want to go all desired surplus. Let's go to 100 or so, just to be sure. And then it's a hundred that is set to import. And after paying to establish a dedicated travel merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only with this specific. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Establish that one. Nice. Root unlocked. Cool. Um. I feel like this is a good idea. Crops, materials. Is there anything we can get? Also herbs, wool, mold. I mean, the good thing is we can now do all these things, and we can establish these trade routes i mean i feel almost like i don't want to do this but this way we could have been growing a lot quicker to be completely honest but hey we're going to we're going to get it done ourselves anyways but uh, it's good to know that we can yeah so honestly this is all good i want to finally claim these lands i want to really go this is for the third episode most likely um before we i will eventually start a new game with a completely different approach but i think at this point i'm just very happy with where this is going and i definitely have to increase the uh, challenge a little but you know that was already said at the beginning that i just want to ensure that this is going to be a bit more easy and focused on building and what the game can offer this can become another like this could become another marketplace but as i said i think people are just focusing on other things um at this point i feel almost like i want to yeah yeah, yeah save i want to give it a little bit of a glow up over here now my question is can i paint in between just how flexible is the pathing system can i make like plazas i can I maybe I'm going to destroy the pathfinding UI by now. But the fact that I can do this unlocks a certain Rudy brain at this point. Not for this session though. Uh, that is good to know.
<laughs> this is really good to know. Okay, well, we can definitely use that to paint, uh, to paint some more roads and bigger roads to make things look a bit nicer, you know, maybe to hide even some hitching posts and stuff in the center. Maybe find out what else is going to make things look the best. Maybe get some houses in the center of the road and, and make it appear as if it's standing free in the area. Like, I really can understand, like, small stable, for example. That one looks, that one looks freaking awesome. So how close, I can really go around this thing, you know? And then if I would paint all the roads, that that's gonna become looking very good on a plaza. Okay, well, testing ground, I, tell, I told ya, I told ya. Okay. Uh, low population growth, high population growth, yeah, because we're still building a lot of stuff. I wonder if, if we build a new church, that's going to give them an equally high upgrade. The tavern over here still can't do anything without mold. We are in August. I'm not sure if the barley is... Yeah, that's going to be actually... It's going to be close if it's going to be built. And also this one isn't built as of now. So let's put our highest. And I feel like we have to speed up a little. Let's see, one more... Level four um, slash four. I'm gonna I'm gonna put like the one. Yeah, one is gone. One is gone. I'm gonna focus on this area now, as everything is. I wonder if we should put more houses in here already, just to make them work for something, and also to ensure we have more people. You know, we just do this, and then we get into a last time lapse for this episode. I really do hope that this is gonna look really good. Um, so let's plot out these houses and next is that one and I'm also going to just give this I'm wondering this is not too small definitely not yeah it depends a little bit on how you put these things down uh, but it definitely isn't too small so that is definitely how it should look really love that and is there anything else we could do with this? I think not. So, um, did I put it on shift one? No, I didn't. So let's just put a new camera location right over here. Minus 100. Oh my god, what did I buy even? Um, yeah. <laughs> put it on one. There you go. So let's just try if I put it yeah, correctly. Yes, I did. Okay, see you after the time lapse. All right, uh, time lapse is done, but we are running uh, the first time in this uh, play into a severe issue. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the people are doing over here and why they're growing again in the season. Somehow, some things seem to be a little bit odd. As you can see, they are now going to plov it for whatever reason. Um, I will now force the early harvest because it seems like they, uh, whatever they do, um, they have started doing something, I guess, but uh, didn't really do anything. So I don't know what happened. And I've got so many people working for that. But we, again, have just a bit of, like a bit of grain, like not really that much. And I'm not sure if they brought it somewhere else. Like everywhere, there's like a little bit. Um, so the windmill will eventually be able to do something with it. But uh, not enough to provide us with food. As you can see, we are really running into severe issues. Um, I'm also not sure why firewood and, and f is like fuel is so little. That makes no sense whatsoever. Um, because we have fuel more than enough uh, for everyone. So that is odd. Maybe it's just like three months is whatever. Um, but we are really having issues here with food. And I tried to do everything already and maybe we need to sell some more stuff because I am uh, importing food. I just sort of set that to import as you can see, but there is really not that much working over here. I also tried to do this with bread and vegetables as well, but we are not really getting it because we have any wealth at the moment. We need to sell more, so maybe I will... Yeah, look at that. We have got so many of these. Uh, we can actually go down here and do an export, export, export. That is all good. Um, desired surplus can still be there. They are just not buying into any of those things, which is a bit weird, but okay. 
it is available, so that should be fine. Now, the question is, will we survive this winter? This is the big question. And uh, I will most likely try my best to do so, but I will call it a day in these wonderful autumn days. I mean, oh gosh, look at, look at how this looks. I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of this. This is just looking absurdly nice. It's looking like a, like a, a stylized medieval painting, I, I want to say. And that, that is a very good thing. That, that is a very, very good thing to say. Just look how everything came together and this huge market over there. Honestly, oops, um, I want to just quickly grab my little uh, person over here and let's see how we are right on the market. Look at that. What a busy marketplace that is. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Look at that. I'm so happy that this is like so realistic that they have exactly the goods over here that they really have. So much firewood. Wood. Look at that. And people are still like, we don't have enough firewood. What the heck? Is that meat? Wait, can I just... Oh no, that's like lime and stuff. And clothing. So good. Really love that. And now look at over here, everything. Ah, damn it. And I, I built this. I built all of this. This is so good. Okay. Also, our influence, like, is not really growing that much. Um, but you can see now, finally, our personal treasury is growing a little. Not that much, though. And we also, if we go here, you can see it needs a lot. Claim with influence. Okay, actually, we king favor or influence. So our treasury doesn't even matter. You know what? Because we will get some food issues eventually. Um, I will obviously get rid of these taxes and bring them to 80%. If that still doesn't hinder anything, that should be good. And now people should hopefully become better. Taxation is good. Church level didn't really change anything, honestly, with, with the second church over here. It didn't really change much. Um, someone working there maybe helps. I don't know. Got a lot of families. I am still very happy with where we got uh, with this this upgrade uh, in today's episode. Um, was a very solid update. Uh, nothing too crazy done, but also a very very solid growth. And I hope that we can finally get this issue with the with the food done. I think most of the problem is that we don't have good fatality in this region, anyways. Like if we go onto here, and you can see the fatality. If we go flax, barley, rye, it's like. It's a little bit okay, but it's not super okay. And we definitely need to go into this bit next. Uh, first of all, it has a lot of nice resources, but it has a super fertile land over here to to build a lot, of, lot a lot of fields to ensure that we finally get uh, our food that we deserve. And also we should then go into the um, orchards over here. We can't update the houses as of now. They are still lacking the tavern supply and the clothing, um, which the clothing should now change itself by all the professions we've changed. But the, um, and also we are having wool done now, so that should definitely do the trick. We could also give them access to making other things, like for example over here. Uh, converts all inhabitants to artisans. Uh, yeah, just do it that way. See, and all these things will work eventually together and we will get some stuff over here from clothing and shoes and you know oh uh, wait where's that uh, crafting materials no it's not in here there you go you can see we have some more herbs by now we don't have any shoes anyone I've, I forgot who there's no one living in here oh, what, one family okay um yeah we could also make them join us workshops. Yeah, but we don't need that yet. Either. This is it for today's episode. I really hope we are going to survive winter. With November now, it's the perfect time to say goodbye. And I really hope you still like this play. Uh, I know it's a bit of an overwhelming flood of Manor Lords videos at this point. So thank you for sticking to me until this point in time. Uh, I promise it's going to be a bit more exciting as soon as we hit a higher ground. And also uh, as soon as I try certain things out to be a little bit more on the detail side of things. And uh, anyways, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And I talk to you in the next one until uh, we are reaching the next year without too many people dying. Bye.